Not only does she have a wiener dog named Noodle, but she has five chickens, all of whom are named after prolific female Olympian figure skaters from the mid 80s to the early 2000s. I know what this is. All of you knew what this was, and not a single one of you said, Jonathan, don't open this next to your face. So I usually bring one, and I forgot to today, and that's why we had to run it. So here's the value of this. This is what it looks like if you don't have it. This this little makeshift, little, little cardboard sort of stand-in. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Tools of the Trade. My name is Jonathan, this special perfect angel is Noodle, and this is the show where we find out what everyday items our everyday entrepreneurs need to get through their day. And this week we are beside ourselves with joy. Uh, that we're going to be featuring uh, a box curated by Joanna Hawley. And Joanna is someone who a lot of you might be familiar with already because of her massive Pinterest presence. She's got about 4 million followers on Pinterest. And she's really well known, not only for her Pinterest following, but for JojoTastic.com, which is a blog she started after she left school as an industrial designer. So as a career, what she's done is she's not only built herself up as a blogger, but she also works as a prop stylist and as a trend spotter for a lot of companies. So she has such good taste in merchandise and in style that what will happen is these companies will come to her and they say, hey, Joanna, we need to figure out what to buy next year. What do we stock our stores with? And she's the kind of person who will look at up and coming trends and things that people are really focused on, either on Pinterest or based on feedback she gets from her blog, and she'll recommend it to these companies and they'll take her on her word for it. So she really is a trendsetter in every, every kind of every sense of the word. Noodle is also incredibly into trends and is in very high demand from some other companies you may have heard of. Anthropology is yet to call. Anthro, if you need some fine taste, reach out to this guy. So we're gonna dive into this box. I really can't wait to see what's inside of it. And I don't have to wait any longer because this is, I call the shots. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, so this is the very first thing in this box and I have simply no idea what it is. Oh, we know what these are. I know what this is. <laughs> I'm fine, so this is, um, it's an exploding trap is what this is. It's an exploding trap and it's very dangerous. Noodle doesn't, is not concerned with my safety. Noodle is not the dog who's gonna protect me. If someone breaks into my apartment and like robs me, Noodle's gonna sit there and go, the good stuff's in the bedroom. What do you call this? What's the industry name for this? I call it a little reflecty, reflecty monster. It's just called a reflector. So this is something that she uses for her prop styling. If she's either taking photos for her own Pinterest page or she's working with a client, this is the kind of thing that you need uh, when you're taking sort of high quality video, high quality photography, because it helps to balance the lighting. It also, it's compact. <laughs> you can fold it and you can store it. And all of you knew what this was and not a single one of you said, Jonathan, don't open this next to your face. And it makes for good TV and I understand why you guys were gonna do that. And Thank you for having the, the viewership uh, in your mind when you were making that decision. How do, does this? Oh, I did it. So through the magic of cinema, I just had this done for me because I am incapable. If you're a content creator at all, whether you do prop styling or you're just a blogger, this is a really useful piece of equipment to have. Um, and this is literally a tool of the trade. Again, Noodle did not jump to my rescue and that's something that I won't forget. The next item we have is this, and I'm scared to open anything else. I don't know if it's gonna pop out at me. Beautiful tools to inspire beautiful work. Okay, I can dig that. Oh, it's a notebook. Okay, so this is just lined, it's a notebook of lined paper. Any kind of stylus or trend spotter or anything, if you have a notebook that you can freely draw in or you feel that you can create in or you've got, I've got an idea, I've got to jot something down. Whether it's something that you want to make yourself or it's something you want to have designed, I can imagine that having a blueprint for that is really, really important. 
She also uses this for to-do lists, which I think makes perfect sense. She uses this for meetings, for things she's gotta do that have nothing to do with her business, just keeping herself organized throughout the day. And that's any, that's, you know, organization is an absolutely invaluable tool for any entrepreneur, no matter what sort of business you're in and no matter what scale your business is at, whether it's one person or it's 50 people, you have to be organized. And I say that as someone who is not organized. Go put it back in its little wrapping. And so glad it didn't dry and bite me like the other one did. The next item we've got, I'm actually thrilled to see these blue light glasses, you guys. I've got a pair of these at my desk. Most of the stuff that she does is digitally. She does a lot of work on Pinterest, you know, a lot of emailing, a lot of designing, all that stuff. If you're staring at a screen, whether it's computer or your phone, you wanna have something that's gonna help protect your eyes from the blue light on those screens. So when people say you're straining your eyes by looking at screens for so long, it's because of your exposure to that kind of light. Um, and they look cool, like, ama again, I look amazing. You shook your head because I look great, right? Thank you so much for saying, you didn't use your words, but I took that from your action. Thank you for complimenting me. Okay, the next item we have, oh, I know what this is. So this is a portable charger. A lot of you know what a portable charger is, but it really is exactly what it sounds like. It's a charger that you can simply take with you. I know uh, Joanna tells us that she does a lot of work in the Seattle area, but I can imagine that someone who's in as high demand as she is has to travel a lot. Uh, so having one of these in your bag is great for airports. This is just a really sensible, smart item to have at, for anyone, again, whether you're an entrepreneur or you're just somebody who exists in today's society. And I'm gonna leave it next to Noodle, because as we remember, Noodle lets out a small radioactive um, pulse every couple of minutes, and I think it'll help charge this to full. Here you go, sweet man. There you go, buddy. Okay, the next item we have in the Joanna Hawley box is, it's a pop socket. For those of you who don't know what a pop socket is, it's a little, sort of a little boop that you put on the back of your phone so that you can either prop it up you can kind of prop your phone up like this, or it's just something that you can kind of hold on to when you're walking with your phone so you don't drop it so much. This is a really um, uh, practical item for a lot of people. I know friends who absolutely love their pop sockets and they'll sit there, you know, with their phones kind of propped up, just like watching TV while they're working or whatever it is. And that's kind of where that ends. The next item we have in the Joanna Holly box is, <laughs> so this is something I love about her. There are stickers that say dachshunds are a girl's best friend. Joanna, and this is something where we're very kindred on, is a huge wiener dog fan. She has one dachshund, and that dachshund's name is Noodle. And I have no doubt in my mind that that dachshund is gonna go viral one day, just because the name Noodle, I think, speaks to really important animals. Noodle has never been one to share the spotlight, so I'm, we're gonna run this by him right now. Noodle, wake up if you are happy that there's another dog named Noodle getting some attention on this show. He's completely unconscious. Not only does she have a wiener dog named Noodle, but she has five chickens, all of whom are named after prolific female Olympian figure skaters from the mid 80s to the early 2000s. She's got Nancy Kerrigan, Tanya Harding, Christy Yamaguchi, Michelle Kwan, Dorothy Hamill. Oh, there's a sixth, she has a sixth chicken. She's German, she's German. Katarina Witt, and she said they're big, nice, beautiful, fluffy chickens. What else do you need in this life? What else do you need? Okay, the final item we have in the Joanna Holly box is, I have been blown away by this box. I love everything inside of it. It's called Big Magic. And it was written by Elizabeth Gilbert of Eat, Pray, Love, Fame. Underneath the title it says, Creative Living Beyond Fear. So I'm gonna read the back of this. We toil alone and we are accompanied by spirits. That's already horrifying, the idea that you're toiling alone and you're surrounded by spirits. We are terrified and we are brave. Art is a crushing chore and a wonderful privilege. Oh, okay, cool. So this book is very much sort of, I think it's kind of a meditation on creativity and people who are willing to push the boundaries and kind of experiment with what makes them creative and what sort of sets off their creative uh, intuition, their creative juices, while also trying to help people navigate through um, feeling scared to create. And I think kind of having the ability to 
always recognize that you're a creative person, but you still need to keep yourself sort of motivated and inspired to learn how to sort of overcome that fear that you might have by, by venturing into a new discipline uh, or a new project, whatever that might be. I'm sure this is an incredible tool for her to have. So. Also, shout out to literacy, right? Things are great. There are no pictures in here, but who needs them? So that is everything. That is the Joanna Hawley box. And I was completely blown away, not only by the, how thoughtful the items were, but how surprised I was at having almost my face ripped off off the very first item, and also that there wasn't a single chicken in this box. More than anything I love about this box is we learned a lot about who she is as a person, right? We know she's an entrepreneur, but she's also very fun. If you loved this video and you wanna see more videos like it, please uh, like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to ring the bell so that you get a notification every time a new Tools of the Trade episode goes live. So for Noodle and for myself, thank you so much for watching.